Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tom's death verified, 5 poisoning suspects so far. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, July 2nd, reveal that Tom Star is end going to make it now that he's collapsed following his performance. Tom's death will be verified, and that LL bring the sanctioned launch of the summer riddle that's girding him. Grounded on how effects played out in Monday's occasion, the show's offered up five suspects so far. Poppy Nozawa clearly had a motive to get relief of Tom permanently since he was hanging to tell Luna Nozawa that he was her father. Still, Sheila Sharp is on the suspect list as well since she had some issues with Tom lately. Although Sheila sounded to reach an understanding with Tom, looks can be deceiving. That said, there's a good chance Sheila is innocent, but you can go she LL have some fritters refocused at her soon due to her shady history. Sheila could indeed come the victim of a frame-up, so that's commodity to keep in mind. Of course, the show just offered three other implicit lawbreakers, too. Justin Barber is eventually back on the scene and presumably has some beef with Tom due to commodity that happened in the history. Maybe Tom swindled Justin out of some plutocrat formerly upon a time or commodity along those lines. Whatever the case, BNB suckers will ultimately learn further about how Justin and Tom are connected. Jack Finnegan's unforeseen return to the oil is also interesting and makes him just as important of a suspect. Could Jack have a retired motive that LL eventually be revealed? There's also Lee Finnegan, who stayed for the live show despite acting like she was not really into the music. Lee was glaring like she had commodity to hide and could VE fluently bend the bone. Who targeted Tom confidentially? Anyhow, they set up quite a whodunit when they showed someone putting a mysterious white grease paint into Tom's sports drink. Tom guzzled that drink between songs and easily dropped over because of the bane at the end of the night. Now BNB can give some updates on the five suspects they've e introduced, but they might throw in a many further as this plot heats up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Tom's demise will lead to some other shocking news and plenitude of suggestions, so stick with us for further prognostications on all the twists and turns ahead. Two months after he made his bold and beautiful debut as Tom the Homeless Guy, Clint Howard's part on the show was expanding, or so it appeared. But in the July 1st occasion of the CBS Cleaner, the character met his maker when one of these shady characters slipped commodity into his electric blue drink. By the time the half hour was through, so, it sounded, was Tom. In late April, the followership met the former songster as cleric and Finn searched the thoroughfares for the late Sheila. The gracious flash handed pivotal intel that led to the jocular manslayer discovery and returned to the loving arms of her fiance and biological son. Cleric was so thankful to Tom that he'd him officiate his and Sheila's marriage and hired him at IL Giardino. The one time juvenile attraction had indeed started performing at the pizzeria. The late show with Stephen Colbert and guests Ron Howard and Clint Howard during Wednesday's June 19, 2024 show. Photo Scott Kalchik slash CBS Copyright 2024 CBS Broadcasting Incorporated. All rights reserved. But alas, the little family that Deacon was erecting around himself was end to be. Tom's shocking assertion to Poppy that he was Luna's father and the both of them knew it set and stir a chain of events that left the upwardly mobile freshman without a palpitation, sorry, Bill, but we still suppose this character is Luna's pater. Before you could spell DNA, Tom was DOA. Though whether it was Poppy who went to Axis to shut him up remains to be seen. Though bold and beautiful was Ent Howard's first cleaner, he guest starred on Santa Barbara in 1987, it did mark the showbiz warhorse's longest run on a day drama. His other credits include everything from The Andy Griffith Show to four different Star Trek series. The actor has his own band and, in his free time, makes custom smell globes. Who knew? Tom collapses after gloved hands onus drink backstage. The bold and the beautiful spoilers recap for Monday, July 1st, reveals that Thomas Forrester told Steffi Forrester that he didn't want her being so rough on Hope Logan. Still, Thomas allowed. That Hope would realize his engagement to Paris Buckingham was the stylish thing for everyone if Steffi gave Hope some time. Since Thomas abominated it when Steffi and Hope fought, he asked them to stop arguing and took off to pick up Douglas Forrester away. 
Of course, Hope and Steffi kept colliding anyway since Hope refused to allow Steffi to mess with her life any longer. Steffi claimed Hope demanded to let Thomas go, but Hope suggested that perhaps she didn't want to. Still, Steffi acted like Hope missed her chance and should find notoriety differently who was single. Thomas had an instigative future ahead, and it did end include Hope according to Steffi. In the design office, Luna Nozawa told RJ Forrester that Bill Spencer wanted to fairly borrow her, so RJ was happy for her. Nonetheless, RJ was confused over why Poppy Nozawa awaited so long to reveal that Bill was Luna's father. Luna acted like it was end that surprising to her since Poppy could be a bit mysterious occasionally. At IL Giardino, Jack Finnegan was surprised to see Lee Finnegan there since he did end flashback her being into live music. Lee suggested she just came for some takeout after her shift at the sanitarium and didn't know all this was going on. Jack induced Lee to join him for a drink, so they participated in awkward toast. Lee was acting rather suspicious, so Jack wondered if she was looking for someone. Justin Barber also had a brief hassle with Sheila Sharp before the content of tonight's live music came up. Justin ominously declared that he would end miss it for the world. At Deacon Sharp's apartment, Poppy tried to move Tom Starr that Bill was Luna's pater. And said a maternity test proved it. Tom argued that was bull and felt it was time for Luna to know the verity. Although Tom said they spent a lot of nights together, Poppy claimed that particular evening Tom was passed out on the stint machine. Poppy also brought up the fact that her family the croaker administered the DNA test, which proved without a shadow of a mistrustfulness that Luna was Bill's son. Tom complained since he tried reaching out to Poppy after their time together, but she shut him down. Poppy said it was because of Tom's partying life since she didn't want Luna around any of that. Tom kept draining Poppy and transferring her letters that always got returned, but Poppy said that was because they didn't mean anything to her. Tom was just a fling from Poppy's history as far as she was concerned. Although Tom had a show to do, he told Poppy that he was going to track Luna down subsequently and tell her that her pater. AI Aunt Bill Tom suggested Poppy could come clean or not, but Luna was going to know the verity either way. Tom reiterated that it was showtime and said he'd to hit the can, so Poppy looked unsettled once she was alone. Back at the eatery, Tom was a little nervous before his show and claimed on chancing his ice blue sports drink confidentially. Meanwhile, someone wearing black gloves slipped a white grease paint into that drink. Tom spoke with Cleric, Sheila and Paul Hollis Hollister before briefly encountering Jack, Justin and Lee. After stepping confidentially and drinking some of the alloyed drink, Tom made his way on stage and played for the crowd. Tom guzzled further of his drink in between songs and eventually collapsed when the show was over, so Deacon, Hollis and Sheila rushed to help him. Moments laterally, Hollis called 911 and said they wanted to know if Tom was still breathing. Sheila started doing casket condensing since she wasn't getting a palpitation. Our BMB prognostications point to some surprising motives coming to light as this riddle unravels, so don't miss all the wild news that's still in store. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Tom's fate will lead to some curveballs, so we LL bring you updates on the chaos.